Mr. Wright here, and welcome to this film, which is my predictions for what will be coming up in the IGCSE Edexcel Maths A exam papers in November 2023. Indeed, a week today is when your paper one is, if you are sitting this set of exams. Two things before we start. First of all, there is a lot of information in this film. Press pause, grab a pen, and a piece of paper. And secondly, please do hit like on this film. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please do comment if you've got any questions or you'd like any clarification. All of these things help grow the channel and also give me some positive feedback too. So please do those things. So what have I done to come up with my list of predictions? Well, the answer is that I've analysed the last 10 IGCSE papers, five sets of IGCSE papers, including, of course, those that aren't yet in the public domain. So I've been able to come up with some predictions which are bang up to date and with luck will help you get your best possible grade in your exams. So for each topic, I have tallied the number of times that topic appears and then been able to come up with a percentage, the percentage of papers which this topic appears on. So for example, if we look at quadratic equations here, quadratic equations came up on five out of the last 10 GCSE papers and so therefore tend to appear 50% of the time. That would mean that you should expect at least one question on quadratic equations in your set of two papers next week. So let's have a look at the data and let's highlight those topics which I think are sure to come up for you in your exams. Okay, so the first set of topics are yellow zone topics. These are topics which appear on average 40, 50, 60% of the time. So I'm expecting these topics to appear once across the two papers you're sitting next week. So looking from the bottom then, using the product of prime factors, that's to find LCMs and HCFs, of course, completing the square, four operations with mixed numbers, proportion, including inverse proportion, uh, using the sine rule, the cosine rule, the area of the triangle formula, you the trig one, those formulas are all on your formula sheet, so you should be um, familiar with those. Transforming curves, moving them up, down, left and right. Quadratic equations, there's something that you can practice quite easily, especially if you use the films which I'll link in the description to help you. Similar shapes, that's the area um, properties of similar shapes and the volume properties too. Histograms, there's a topic which is sure to come up and you can find some past exam questions to practice if you click on the link in the description to that film. SIRDS is a really interesting topic because it's one of the trickier topics on the syllabus and it's one which the examiners tend to use to test top grade candidates. So if you are going for a top grade, you need to become fluent in all you need to be able to do on SIRDS. And there are three films to help you, three sets of past IGCSE exam questions for you to work your way through. The link is in the description. Right, I've moved the list down. So I'm continuing now with this yellow zone these yellow zone topics. Um, at the bottom of the list there, cumulative frequency. So that is completing cumulative frequency tables, drawing cumulative frequency graphs, finding the median, finding the interquartile range, and answering other questions about the data from your cumulative frequency graph. Venn diagrams are Venn diagrams. Uh, vectors, this is a bit like certs. This is a top end um, topic very often, and often there are questions on three different things, magnitudes, collinearity, which I can never say, and vectors and ratios. Vectors and ratios has been a firm favorite recently. So there are three films in the description so you can practice those questions until you cannot get them wrong. Quadratic graphs. What do you need to do with quadratic graphs? You need to be able to plot them from a table of values. You need to be able to link um, a diagram with six graphs with six different equations. And sometimes they ask you to use quadratic graphs to solve equations as well. Linear programming. That is drawing a line and shading one side or the other side, depending on the inequality. Standard form is standard form. Pythagoras, there's a topic you can revise easily if you use my 
8 quickfire IGCSE questions film, a link in the description. Ratio, rearranging formula. Remember, when you rearrange formula, you very often have to put all the, um, all the terms with an X in them, for example, on one side, everything else on the other, and then factorise out the X before you divide both sides. Um, cones, pyramids and spheres, these formulas are all given to you on the formula sheet, surface area and volume formulas for each of those solid shapes. So make sure you're familiar with those and you, often using the formulas will get you through the question. Circle theorems is uh, again a yellow zone topic and we're up to 60% now aren't we? Circle theorems, cones, pyramids, spheres, rearranging formula. These are questions which will appear at least once I reckon on the two papers you're going to take next week. Right, three more yellow zone questions. I've moved the form again. Every time I touch the form while I'm recording, the system seems to stop the recording. So I've had to pause the recording and move the, um, move the Word document down. Right, three more topics. Sequences, by the way, sequences often you can have very straightforward questions about sequences towards the beginning of a paper hence my first film eight quick fire igcse questions but again often sequences can appear towards the end of a paper and they're testing for you for those higher grades and often those questions involve finding the sum of a sequence or even the sum of two sequences and subtracting one from the other there is a there is another film linked in the description harder igcse questions on sequences which you may like to use. I'll also put a link for my all of IGCSE sequences film in the description which I think is about 40 minutes and covers everything you need to know about sequences. Differentiation comes up perhaps once across the two papers and functions is another yellow zone topic and I will put a link to my functions playlist in the description of this film. Right we're going to move on to the blue zone next. Okay, blue zone questions. These are questions which appear 70%, 80%, 90%, and 100% of the time. So these are topics which you really do want to become fluent in. Simultaneous equations, first of all, that would include quadratic simultaneous equations, um, or at least simultaneous equations where one is linear and one is quadratic. And I will put a link to the relevant playlist in the description of this film. Bounds is an interesting topic. Much like thirds, it's a topic where uh, the questions tend to be quite tough. And so again, the examiners are using this topic to differentiate between you top grade students. So if you're after a top grade, you need to become fluent in bounds. There are two films to help you in the description of this film. One contains questions which are kind of grade three, four, five, six, and another questions which are grade six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, problems involving the circumference C equals pi D and the area A equals pi R squared of circles. Polygons, that would include um, internal angles, external angles, the sum of the angles of a polygon, regular polygons, irregular polygons. Okay, now linear equations. These are equations without an X squared, just with an X or a Y. Um, equations with brackets, x's on both sides, or fractions, and again, you must have been doing these since the year dot, and there is a film in the description, 17 quick fire IGCSE questions so you can practice your linear equations. Mean, median, mode, and range, and interquartile range problems. These are problems where you're given a set of data, perhaps with a number missing, and you need to find the missing number. Um, often it helps, of course, if you know that the total of all the date of all the numbers is the mean multiplied by the number of numbers. Expanding brackets, I will put a link to those um, quickfire IGCSE questions in the description for you to use. It would include expanding three brackets, of course. Factorizing quadratics, you know what that means. Practice, practice practice, practice. I'm expecting one, if not two, questions across your two papers next week. Trigonometry in 2D and 3D, that's a surefire thing to come up. Possibly two questions across your two papers, as on average, that topic comes up once in every paper. And coordinate geometry, what do I mean by coordinate geometry? I mean finding the distance between two points, finding the midpoint, finding the gradient between two points, finding equation of a line between two points, finding the equation of parallel lines, perpendicular lines, maybe even finding the equation of a perpendicular bisector of two points. 
points. Right, coming up next, the green zone, the really important questions, but I'm going to press pause now before the recording goes wrong on me again. Okay, the green zone. These are topics which come up more than 100% of the time. So the statistics would suggest that there are going to be more than one question on each paper on these topics. Perhaps across the two papers, three or four questions on indices, probability and percentages. Now, indices would include um, straightforward questions where you simply have to add or subtract the power if you're multiplying or dividing, would include fractional indices, negative indices, and also possibly those harder questions where you have to change the base of an expression and then set your powers equal to each other to solve an equation. Probability, that will include probability trees for sure, hence the two films which I will link in the description so you can practice probability tree questions. Might also include those tables where you have to fill in the missing probabilities. Also, you might be asked to work out the number of outcomes one might expect that fit a certain criteria. Percentages. So we're talking about amounts before or after a percentage change. We're talking about percentage profit, percentage loss, and we're talking about compound changes as well. Those are my green zone topics. Okay, so there's quite a lot there, so don't let it phase you, okay? Choose a couple of topics, revise them, move on to the next. If you would like to, of course, you can always use my 100 IGCSE questions film. I'll put a link in the description. It takes 80 minutes, and during the 80 minutes, you'll do 100 IGCSE questions, about grade four, five, six-ish. So if you just want to hammer questions of that nature, then you can use that film. Also, of course, if you want to do some practice papers, you will find on my homepage, um, six practice papers, all with video solutions, so you can do that too. If you need a hand, leave me a comment, ask me a question, and of course I will respond. Um, if there's anything you don't understand, similarly, ask me a question and I'll help you out. Right, good luck, let me know how it goes.